This morning, our Chief Vehicle Officer, Brian Hansen, informed our employees that um, that doesn't look like there's going to be a bill put in place in time before the June 1st deadline. With only a few session days left in the House, the Senate's really out of town um, to not be able to vote on a bill or a potential bill. Uh, because of that, that was the decision today to permanently shut TMI down in September of 2019, like we have uh, previously stated, as a policy reform. It, it is a, a very difficult day, a very emotional day. Our Chief Nuclear Officer, Brian Hansen, came in and, and spoke to our employees. A um, little bit of a shock due today. I think we've told people like we're hoping for that June 1st timeline to try to get this bill done, uh, but not seeing a path there. I think that was a bit of a shock today. That was hard for some people to take, but they also knew uh, the reality of the situation for the past two years. We've been very transparent with everybody. Uh, every step of the way, every movement in Harrisburg, we've let them know what's been happening. Uh, we've been on this, what we call a dual path, both planning for decommissioning and hoping for the best for the policy to reverse that decision. Well, the, the concerns, I guess, first and foremost, would be um, uh, jobs. I mean, uh, it's a big employer. It's an employer that uh, has good paying jobs. And uh, that money leaving the area, possibly, maybe uh, folks being relocated to other plants, uh, is going to have an impact in the area. Here it can't possibly. be good for business. You have less market out there, of course. Well, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. You always, you know, try to keep a level, you know, amount of business. And when you lose customers like that, you know, uh, you never get them back. I was heartbroken, disappointed, saddened for the families. Um, we really hoped we could get to a better outcome and, and really find a way to preserve Three Law Island in, in Londonderry Township. But unfortunately, that, that we didn't get there. Right. And uh, what's it mean to the township uh, with the workers there? We'll start with the workers first. What's it mean to the township? Well, the workers are part of the fabric of our community. We know them. They're our friends and families. Uh, they've been actively engaged in Londonderry Township, actively engaged in the region. So we're really sad for this news, and we're sad that this is happening to these families that we've come to care so much about. And what's it going to mean? Uh, we'll start economically. What's it going to mean to the uh, township and, and to the region? Well, economically, we're going to lose a million dollars in real estate taxes in the region. Uh, about $130,000 in taxes and fundraising in Londonderry Township. And I think, you know, we're certainly going to see a cut in services potentially here at the township. And, and a school district tax increase, as I've been told, is that they can't lose $630,000 that was derived from Three Mile Island and not have a tax increase.